right, so things didn't go as planned on the dyno. Um, KMP, he did me a whole new wiring loom. As you can see, it's all really nice and stuff. All new connectors everywhere. I guess he didn't like it that it was going over the exhaust, so all new harness. And then he put the ECU here. Um, so basically, we're having a lot of trouble with the AEM. It's getting a lot of interference, and uh, we're having a lot of trouble with the AEM. It's getting a lot of interference, um, and it's all like shielded wire, and it's all brand new wire. Everything's new. New connector. Every new connector, new connector. Every, every connector is new. All the pins are new. Everything's good. It all reads. Car starts. Car runs. We had half tuned it, and uh, he was just having a lot of problems with the. Uh, he was just having a lot of problems with connectivity on the uh, ECU. So it would just like randomly bug out. He wouldn't be able to read anything on the ECU uh, on the computer laptop. I tried it this afternoon. Same thing, same problem. It just like, you'll be able to read everything, everything's reading and then boop, disappears, comes back, disappears, comes back. So it's really hard to tune that way because like he'll be doing a pull, half the stuff doesn't register so he can't like. So I know there's something with interference in that. So we're changing to a mega squirt. Um, we're probably gonna be doing that in the next couple of weeks. Also, my external wastegate is too small. We have a 38 mil and it was over boosting like anything over 40% throttle so he's gonna be sending me a 50 mil external wastegate which we're gonna be welding right onto the exhaust housing uh, when it comes down so like the airflow goes down and then it spins in the turbine uh, as soon as it goes down we'll be welding it right there so it has no choice to go into the external wastegate and like a bigger external wastegate too so that's gonna be good um, Kind of pissed, a lot of money, like a lot of money, and the car's not running. So I'm kind of pissed that I won't be making Maple Leaf Bash, but I uh, sold my ticket to Ryan. Uh, Fred decided just like a couple of minutes ago that he was going, so he picked up a ticket from somebody. And yeah. Um, I'll start up, I'll show you guys uh, what it sounds like, and uh, a little walk around with the car. Everything went well though on the dyno. Uh, the engine run the engine is mint a1 super good um, the only thing is I have a adapter for the oil I have a like a T adapter for the oil pressure gauge which is also the uh, oil uh, feed for the turbo and it's like loose in there a bit so I need to thread it in more but to do that uh, it's rubbing on the oil filter so I gotta grind it down a bit so I can tight a lot more um, the other thing is this uh, hose thing is leaking here so I gotta add another clamp I gotta add a better clamp to this because it's slightly leaking right now other than that everything went good the alternator shit the bed so I gotta get this alternator rebuilt and that's pretty much it
Well, that was fun. So, mechanically, she's amazing, honestly. So I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what it's doing. Um, right now I got my connection cable here, just because uh, we're switching out the ECU, so save the time of taking it out of the car and putting it there anyways. Connect to ECU. So right now it's not acting weird at all. Uh, let me start the car and see if it changes. like it's doing it anymore. So before what it was doing is uh, on the dyno we'd be losing all these readings and it was doing it the other day too. 100% like you'd lose everything let me shut off the car. I was using 100% the readings uh, here, his logging readings, so to check the logs to see how the car was reacting uh, to his tuning. We were losing everything, completely everything. Um, doesn't seem to be doing it right now, though you can see some of the variables are fluctuating. I think it's just um, this connection cable. He extended it and put it through the firewall. I think that might have been what was causing the interference because it was passing through uh, next, it was tie wrapped to a couple of other wires underneath the dash. That could have done it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Got the new uh, Nitrogen 7 uh, zip up hoodie. Um, Thanks to Dory Fred, you made this for me. And thanks to my buddy Mike from Ovation Tires, Nitrogen 7 for paying me that. Awesome. So that's where we're gonna end the video here. Um, my tuner, KMP Systems, it's actually KMP Speed Shop now. Uh, he shipped me today, or was it on Friday? He shipped me the new 50 mil wastegate, which we're gonna be welding underneath the turbo. Then I'm gonna have to take another day off of work, or maybe I'll just bribe my dad to bring it to his house so he can unpin the ECU, uh, repin the new Mega Squirt, and then go to the dyno, get a tune, and be ready for Hollow Bash. Um, yeah. So he sent me the bill on Saturday, and I kind of freaked out because it was kind of like three times of what I was expecting to pay. So if you guys want to hit the links down below. Um, Northsideproductions.ticktail.com. Pick yourself a hat, pick yourself a t shirt. Anything helps this channel, anything helps the build. Uh, if you guys want to subscribe to my Patreon, hit the links below. I really don't like asking for money, but anything helps. And right now, we're really trying to get the Lexus out. I'm sorry, the Lexus Evolution out, which uh, I finally figure out the nickname I want to give it, and it's going to be the Bad Boss. So, hashtag Bad Boss. We're gonna get a license plate made, bad boss. If you have to know uh, why I chose that, um, then just keep watching and you'll find out. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little kind of disappointing. We were supposed to be a Maple Leaf bash last weekend. Sold my ticket at Ryan. It ended up raining most of the weekend. And he burnt, I think, one and a half pair of tires. Uh, so, he got a bunch of rain wet seat time, uh, which kind of sucks, but whatever. He's happy about it. He got like 60 or 70 laps in his uh, JZ46. Uh, I was feeling really sick too, so I slept most of the weekend. And I'm starting to feel a little better, but I'm still coughing a lot. Um, yeah, it sucks. We weren't able to go chill and uh, drive Maple Leaf Bash, but next year, watch out. It's going to get crazy. The bad boss is going to be there. 
Fred's new build is going to be there. It's out in the parking lot, but I won't show you guys. Uh, I don't know if he's going to do a video series with that. He should. AKA at Dory Fred. Come on, do something. Also, if you want to, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Jacob from Piston Head Productions. I know he watches my videos. He's one of my, uh, he's one of my loyal subscribers. So thank you for watching the videos, bro. I hope to see you at Hollow Bash and we'll uh, get some saw dudes going on. Also, a big shout out to all you guys who subscribed to the video. Um, I've been wanting to hit this mark for a while now and I'm like, it just, I took a couple of months off uh, just because I was feeling really down. I was trying to get the car out and I was just like, I needed a space away from YouTube, especially since it, it doesn't really give me any more money. To be honest, it really doesn't give me money. Like, almost nothing. So, we finally hit 4,000 subscribers, which sounds like nothing. It is nothing, but um, it has a four in it, and I like that. So, if you guys know, my lucky number is four. So, uh, we're gonna try and get 4,444 subscribers next, and then I guess, what, 40,000 or something? That'd be really sick. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Audio